The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, you know we make videos about health and healthcare topics and all our videos are directly referenced from the US National Medical Library and on your request, persistent request, today I'm going to make a video on lactose intolerance. So what is this? See, lactose is a type of sugar which is found in milk and other dairy products, right? There is an enzyme which is called lactase which is needed by your body to digest this lactose and lactose intolerance develops when the small intestine does not make enough of this enzyme lactase. So why this happens? How to treat it? How to diagnose it? What are the symptoms? What is the, the test? Everything will be uh, covered today in this video. So let's start. In a baby, right, a baby's body makes the lactase enzyme so they can actually digest milk very easily, including the breast milk of a mother. So babies born too early, that is the premature babies, sometimes can have lactose intolerance. Right? And children who were born at full term, often they do not show signs of the problem of this lactose intolerance before they are at least three years old. Right? And lactose intolerance is very common in, in adults also. Right? But it is rarely dangerous. It is common but not dangerous. In about uh, a lot of people, uh, they can actually have lactose intolerance by around 20 years of age, right? And uh, the illness basically involves or base injures your small intestine, right? That may and the problem is in the small intestine, that means there is an injury or there is a problem in the intestine that it is not able to make the lactase enzyme, right? So you have to actually treat or improve the symptoms and that is the treatment but what is the problem where does this happen see what can happen if you have had what are the reasons? what are the causes number one cause is surgery of the small intestine if you ever had a surgery in small intestine or an infection in the small intestine like uh, in the children infection in the small everybody had stomach infections right come on so this is the most common reason in children right surgery is the second most common reason and then there is a there are diseases which can actually damage the small intestine like celiac disease celiac spur or crohn's disease right so these are the most common reasons why you can have lactose intolerance or you might even have this problem congenitally from birth when, while, when a baby is born with a genetic defect that they cannot make lactase enzyme. So either it is from birth or in, the, in, the, uh, in your life you had something which damaged your intestines. right? So what happens if you are lactose intolerant and you had something of, of a milk product, you ingested it, then what happens after 30 minutes to 2 hours of taking a milk you will have symptoms. Symptoms can be mild to worse and it will increase on the basis of the amount of milk. Symptoms can be from abdominal bloating, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, it can be gas, flatulence or nausea. Remember, right? every time you have a gastroenteritis and infection of the abdomen, at that time your intestines will not produce the required amount of lactase enzyme and at that time you won't be able to digest milk many people suffer with this problem many people have this only a few people may just be able to digest milk even in a disease in the intestinal disease right so how will we diagnose it see when you go to a doctor the doctor will first try to diagnose other problems which can present in this condition like irritable bowel syndrome and 
uh, even they will do some tests right what kind of tests there are uh, three tests which are available one is lactose hydrogen breath test second is lactose tolerance test and third is a stool ph test so these three tests can help us determine if you have lactose intolerance or not then what is the treatment see the treatment is to cut down your intake of milk products that can that basically contain lactose and you can actually get relief by just doing that right so you also have to read the food labels because in many products we, there can be hidden sources of hidden sources of lactose even in non milk products right including some beers right so you can you can avoid them also most people with a low lactase level can even drink up to one cup of milk at a time right so one cup of milk at a time and they might not have any symptoms a large serving of like uh, 240 ml 250 ml may cause problems uh, or the people uh, for the people who have this kind of mild low deficit low levels deficiency so what are the milk products that may be easier to digest in this kind of a condition right you can you might be able to digest butter milk and cheese these foods basically contain less amount of lactose as compared to milk fermented milk products like yogurt yogurt can be easily digested goat's milk goat's milk has less amount of lactose uh, cheese hard cheese is also like that uh lactose free milk or milk products are available in the market or even lactase treated milk cows milks are also there for children as well as older adults soy formulations are there for infants milk infants and uh, even adult soy or rice milks are there rice milk is also there so, but, and there is one more solution you can even add the lactase enzyme to regular milk or take lactase tablets you can also take these as a uh, capsules chewable tablets are also available and there are also many lactase free dairy products available right see not having milk and dairy products in your diet can lead to a shortage of various nutrients like calcium vitamin d riboflavin proteins so you need at least 1000 to 1500 mg of calcium each day depending upon your age and gender and therefore you need to do something to get more calcium if you are not taking milk right so you need to take either a calcium supplement with vitamin d so you can talk to your doctor for that or you need to eat foods that have more calcium like green leafy vegetables you can eat fishes oysters sardines shrimp broccoli these things have more calcium or and you can drink orange juice with added calcium that is also there so what what is the prognosis see symptoms most often go away when you remove milk and other dairy products from your uh, from your diet right and without dietary changes infants or children will also have growth problem so if you don't change this and you are a ch you ch your child has a problem then proper digestion nutritional deficiency will develop right and growth problems can occur so if you have any kind of uh, symptoms similar to this uh, when you drink milk if your child is not growing properly or growing slowly if your child has symptoms like this if it if they are getting worse and not getting uh, relieved by say, treatment then you should go to a doctor and get evaluated prevention quite frankly there is no known way to prevent lactose intolerance you can prevent some of the symptoms by avoiding some foods with lactose but then there is no straightforward prevention of this this is the this is this is all what we have about milk intolerance right and uh, lactase deficiency i hope this video is helpful there is no permanent cure for this disease but then you can slowly sensitize yourself by daily doses of milk so that you might be able to tolerate a little more amount slowly over a period of years but well, that's a that's a job to do right so that's all about lactose intolerance lactase deficiency thank you so much for watching stay connected stay healthy